Okay, so a review of squares and square roots. So hopefully, I sh I'll put square numbers, so square numbers. So hopefully you remember what, um, we have talked about this, or hopefully you, if you were here, you talked about this. So review of square numbers. So when I square a number, so let's say I have one. Sorry, my pen's not working very well. And then I have one squared. So one or one times one. So one squared equals one. So in our table, I'm going to put x and then I'm going to say x squared. So this number squared. So one squared or one times one. Remember that squared means that it's actually one times one. So one times one is just one. Then if we look at this one and I have two and I square two. Two squared or two times two, two times two, notice that's one, two, three, four. So two squared is four. Three squared, or remember squared, so if we square a number and it's three tall, then it would have to be three wide, so it'd be three times three or three squared, three squared or three times three equals nine. So if I take three and I square it, three times three equals nine. Okay, let's do four and let's do four without even having to draw our squares because you could imagine if it was a 12, if I was squaring 12, that would end up being a lot of squares. So if I have four and I did four times four or four squared, four times four is 16, five, five squared which is five times five, so I'm gonna stop writing five times five because we know five squared is five times five. Five times five is 25. Six, six squared, six times six is 36. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We're gonna go all the way to 12. So seven squared, seven times seven is 49. Eight squared is 64. Nine squared is 81. 10 squared is 100. 11 squared is 121. 12 squared is 144. So this is squaring numbers. So this is squaring numbers. Now let's go the opposite direction. Let's do square roots. So if I look at these same ones, a square root is what number multiplied times itself or was squared to get the information. Oops, you couldn't see the bottom of that. So square root. So square root is actually just the opposite of this. So if I want to know the square root of one, if I want to know the square root of one, that means I have one square here and I want to find out what the length and the, or what the two sides were. So the square root of one 
would just be 1. The square root of 4, or if I have 4 squares, so I'm going to say that again, if I have 4 squares, what was this height and the width? And it should be the same number. So the square root of 4 could be written as 2 times 2, meaning the square root of 4 is 2. Then if we have the square root of 9, or if I had 9 squares, it would be 3 would be my answer. So I'm just going to go down, and notice that's also these numbers right here. So square root of 16, square root of 25, square root of 36, square root of 49, square root of 64, square root of 81, square root of 100, square root of 121, square root of 144. And you're about to hear people there standing at my door. Um, the bell ring and they're coming to class, but I'm almost done. So the square root of 16 came from 4 times 4, so the answer would be 4. Square root of 25 came from 5 squared, or 5 would be your answer. Square root of 36 came from 6 times 6. Square root of 49 would be 7. Square root of 64 is 8. Square root of 81 came from 9 times 9. Square root of 100 is 10 times 10. Square root of 121 is 11. Square root of 144 is 12. Um, so just remember, it's the opposite. So if I took the square root of a number, a square number, a perfect square, like the square root of 36, your answer is 6. So you've got to remember if you're squaring it or if you're taking the square root. So the square root was what number times itself, and if I take 2 and square it, then that's when I'm making that square with a 2 by 2.